from that intro or not, but the weather has gotten colder here. The uh, colors are changing and fall is inbound for sure. But what that means is the river level is going down and the sandbars are getting bigger. So uh, I think we should go on a little sandbar hunting mission. Showed you that one in the vlog a couple weeks ago. I'm pretty sure that one's doable. So I'm gonna go meet up with Ty and see if we can't go hit that thing. Got a text message from Nick. He's uh, inbound from Reno. He's here to work on Trent's 915, putting a big engine in the Freedom Fox, the old cub killer. But before he gets hard at work, I think we should take him and show him a little bit of Idaho backcountry since he's got a new kit fox. with Nick, first backcountry spice with Nick. Now he's gonna take off and run down the hill. Ty's joining the Kit Fox Club. Check it out. Ty doesn't have his Highlander today because uh, it's down for maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. So how long are we gonna stay here? Stay here. I'm gonna go stand right here you guys are Yeah, let's go. Man, so I just landed on this beautiful little sandbar on the river. First sandbar in Idaho for me. Whew, yes, right close to my house. Oh, it's so awesome. Nick's coming in now. We've drug it a bunch of times. It's super soft. My little pizza cutter tail wheel was digging in. But uh, you don't need that for landings, right? Here comes Nick, check him out. In case you guys were wondering what I mean by a uh, pizza cutter tail wheel, check out my tail wheel here. It's uh, dug in. Versus. So Nick, he's smart. He built his plane from scratch. I kind of built this as a tail dragger from scratch. I should have been smarter and bought the right damn tail wheel to begin with. But Nick, no pizza cutter. But it's still dug in's pretty good. But uh, much less than mine. <laughs>
So that goes down as probably uh, one of the better days of flying for me. It was quickie, but uh, I got to land in some really cool spots right here close to my house and uh, played with Nick for the first time in the backcountry. Pretty sweet. Almost forgot the uh, answer to last week's uh, question in the comments about whether the drone survived or not. Unfortunately, the drone died. I think it would have survived had we just let it dry out for about a week or something, but Nick and I got a little anxious and plugged the battery in and then poof, white smoke came out of it. I think Nick just wanted to buy a new Mavic Pro. I think that's really what happened. But uh, anyway, thanks as always for following along. Please, uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe up there. It really helps me out. Makes me want to keep doing these things. If you feel like it, like and comment below. Until next time, see you in Madrid.